to my favorite junk food mukbang eating show. Basically, I have all my favorite junk foods that I love to pick out on when I have had a crazy diet week like I have. I've been dieting actually like crazy this week and I'm going to continue this week. I decided that when I have my splurges, I'm going to do a mukbang so I can really, really enjoy it with you guys and that I'm like so stoked about eating all this. Now, I just came off a... We started glamming at 4 p.m. on Sunday. We wrapped at 6.30 a.m. on Monday morning. It was in crazy traffic from rain and stuff. For two hours here in LA, I got home at 8.30. I decided to edit and upload some videos. Domino's opened at 10 a.m. And it is now 10.30, and I have had the craziest day, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna eat this, then I'm gonna take off makeup and go to bed. So this is my perfect little meal. It's my nice little splurge. I have been hardcore dieting this past week, so I'm super excited to eat this with you. So the first splurge I have is my Domino's cheese pizza, which you guys know is my, it's fresh hot. It was just delivered moments ago. He said, I haven't seen you in a while. I said, I've been trying to do good. He literally said that too. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. I haven't had pizza in so long. It's been weeks for me. Mmm. Mmm. That's so warm. I'm so freezing because we shot the Warrior Music video last night. It was freezing. <laughs> we went to this really cool studio in Palmdale, which is like a desert, like an hour away from LA. I probably got down to 40 degrees, but I was in water the whole time. I'm getting in and out of the water, which is even crazier. Like when you go on a jacuzzi and then in the pool, it's like that. Are you real crazy people who? Um, I'm going to cruise during the winter time and then out in the breeze. So, mm -mm. I was doing that back and forth all night. Then it started being so windy, we couldn't even finish half the shots. So, we had to change the video concept halfway through. We got the majority of the story, but we had to change it halfway through. And um, it was so intense. <laughs> mm. So much fun, though. Mmm, and then it started raining, pouring, freezing rain, and we had to dance through the rain. You guys, I have no idea what this video looks like. We had to get everything done so quickly, so I didn't get any playback, but it should be out within the week. Mmm. This pizza is so good. Mmm. I like doing these mukbangs from camera and like doing them once a week because I really do want to do good dieting all week. And have a big sport. I've been working out too, so. Mmm. Hopefully my metabolism has picked up. Also, if you don't like finger licking or bob swallowing or lip smacking, my eating shows are not for you. But if you love it and can't get enough, I have a whole playlist of eating shows. Mmm. This music video, though, you guys ain't even ready. I'm gonna do a little finger licking. That's how I eat. Sorry, y'all. Mm. We did put so much, so much energy into it. There will be a behind the scenes on my second channel. If you're not subscribed, youtube.com slash Trisha's Life. I am posting daily vlogs. Got diet, got diet coke, big gulp. Mm. The Diet Coke from 7-Eleven tastes so much better than it does from a can or a bottle. Mmm. Mmm. Surprisingly, I have a ton of energy, but I am going to crash. On the way home, we went a back way. I took us up all these twists and turns called, I think it was called Los Angeles American Highway or Angeles Highway or something from Palmdale and you end up in Glendale, which I mean, it took us like an hour and a half because of the rain. It was slippery. I was so scared. I was having the worst anxiety of my life. And 
we were low on gas before we even got on this freeway thing. We thought we were gonna hit another gas station, so like, because the way we came, we had multiple gas stations, but we went a different route on the way home, and we like basically, mm. Mm. but we were on that road for an hour and a half on E. On zero. I, think, I truly think it's because we pray to God that we made. There's no way. We made it to the Shell Station. We were holding, me and my um, friend, Sasha, stylist, Angel, we were holding our breath the whole time. We were so scared. It was icy. It was misty. We had to turn the heaters off. I was freezing. Because I was in water all day. I was soaking. My socks were soaking wet. I'm going to turn the heater off to save energy. Freezing. By the grace of God, we made it through. And we just hugged each other at the gas station, and then we laughed about it. But and then there was more traffic on the way home because it was Monday during rush hour, or during, yeah, morning rush hour. And it was raining, and people when it rains here and all. We saw a car, oh, mm. We saw a car spin out in front of us as we got, like, right down to the end of the hill, or the, like, mountain thing we were on. I think they were tailgating too close to the car ahead of them and they just slammed on their brakes and they spun it was the scariest thing ever but i'm alive and i've never been so happy to be home i was visualizing this pizza mm. um i thought why not do a mukbang with you guys there's nothing on tv i knew i was going to so enjoy this food and i was ready to tell you so i was like this is perfect mm. We're gonna get into all these celebrities after this piece. We'll have one more, a couple bites of this. Mm. If Domino's was my sponsor, I would eat them every single day. <laughs> I would eat them every day anyways. It's just so good. Uh, my favorite pizza, hands down. My choreographer, Cedric, he's French. French and Portuguese. Um, and he says, um, Domino's, he's so cute. Mm, I want Domino's pizza. So cute. Mm. So good. And my pig says, no, I do not have any spare ribs. So I'm not eating bacon. Or ribs or ham. My piggy's too cute to eat it. Mm. Oh. I didn't eat anything yesterday. I am. These shrimp I ate in the morning, I had four shrimp. That's it. I was 200 calories yesterday morning at like 10 a.m. That's it. Well, I've been calorie strict restricting myself this past week. So, um, I'm in the balcony, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mom, well, I should probably close it. I would close it if it wasn't a so I'm gonna close it. Mm. But the garlicness of the Domino's crust, mm. so freaking good. You like my new short nails? I always get basic French most of the time. For a music video so they're not distracting depending on like the character and the mood i'm playing i will heat this up later Ooh, especially when i wake up oh it's gonna be so yummy here we go okay that was so good i had to eat that while it's warm because it's like the best when it's warm mm -mm -mm. okay moving on i'm gonna say my desserts for last i got reese's peanut butter cups and nutty bars they're both chocolate and have peanut butter, so it's a good tell that I love chocolate and peanut butter. Okay. So these are my two favorite chips. So I'm a chip and I'm a candy girl. I love salt and I love sweets. So I have Doritos and I have some uh, Ruffles. These have been my latest favorite junk food. This has been my all-time favorite junk food. I always gravitate to a cooler ranch Doritos. If I see them anywhere, I need to eat them. This has been something I've been craving lately. So we'll open up the oldie with the goodies first. Mm. 
Romy and Michelle used to eat these in, their, in the movie Romy and Michelle, they ate these on the couch. Mmm. You guys know I love the fold over chips. But Doritos, I don't have to always eat fold over, but I do. Mmm. They're just so. flavorful. Mmm. Who's even in the Super Bowl? Oh. Oh, yeah. L. L. I. What is that for Roman numerals? Madden. Who even plays Madden anymore? My brother played that when we were like, I was like eight. Hmm. Man. Let's bring back memories. I used to eat these all the time after school. My brother never liked these, so I didn't have them all by myself. Mm. My mom would buy the bag, and it would literally be all that night. <laughs> I just used to get in trouble, not in trouble, but I would eat food so fast when my mom would get groceries. I would like eat it all in like two days. Like I just wanted to eat all of everything. Um, I never got in trouble, but I don't know. I, I think one time I remember like getting talked to about it. Like, oh, you don't have to eat it all in like two days. <laughs> Which is why I hate eating groceries to this day because I do have to eat it all. Like, you don't understand how you don't. Mm. Oh, that is so good. 7 Eleven doing me right. I can't get too full on these though. Mmm. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm so excited for this music video, guys. Oh my god, so excited. The next one too. It's blowing my mind. I don't even know. Blowing. My mind. I can't believe it's Monday at like almost 11 a.m. and I'm going to bed. I woke up yesterday, Sunday, at like 7 a.m. Couldn't take a nap. I was like too anxious. No nap. Nothing. My energy was high. New favorite ruffles. I don't know what it is. I don't like dip or anything with my chips. I just like some plain ruffles. But I'm, I am super picky. You guys already know. The kind I like to shake out of my bag. And there's not that many in here. Brand new bag. Where are you at? Oh my god. Can eat all the doubles out? No, like no. Oh, here's one. I was going to say. There was like literally none. The fold over chips. Some of you guys call them wish. Wish chips? I never heard of that before. Wish chips. Mmm. These are so good. Mmm. These are my new fave. I've been. I like the texture of ruffles. You know what's so funny? I don't. I'll eat a bag of this. Plain potato chips, probably not even anymore because of the calories. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, if I was starving to death, like, literally starving to death, I would eat a bag of lace potato chips, but I don't love them. I like these, though, because they have, like, a nice, like, texture to them, I guess. I, don't know. I sound like such a food, food connoisseur, a trashy food. Oh, yeah. Why trash food for days? I have chicken taquitos in my freezer. Thumbs up this video if you do too. People come over and like, you eat those still? I'm like, I didn't even know that was like a thing for kids. Like, we never had chicken taquitos growing up. We weren't actually that rich. I'm gonna take two more of these and go into the dessert. Mmm. 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 I just remember a couple times asking my mom for like, I don't know, frozen pizza or something. I was like, well, I gotta wait till my next paycheck for that. I think that's normal. I don't like nothing against them. It just always like it makes me. It made me sad. Like it made me sad, and it makes me sad that like other households are like that. I mean, I've been at the store some time when a mom tells like a daughter, or, like a child or something, to put something back because they can't afford it, like candy or something. It really makes me sad. Um. I always, I like not always, but I paid for it like twice, 
And the third time I tried to pay for somebody, they got really offended and like really insulted. And I was, and then she ended up saying like, it's not because I can't afford it. Cause she doesn't need it and she's being punished like all this shit. And so, but I specifically, specifically remember her telling the kid like, I don't have the money for that. So it's like, you don't have the money or she's being punished because you're giving her too much money. Anyways, I stopped doing that. But sometimes I do it in the fast food drive through because I go through fast food drive throughs a lot, especially on holidays, like when I went through Thanksgiving. Like I paid for the person behind me and a lot of times I cut it out just because my credit card and stuff, I don't want like to, you know, show my number or shit. And I'm not saying that, it's like, oh my God, I'm such a good Samaritan for paying for like a $13 meal or anything, but I don't know, stuff like that, I think makes it my, like people's day. It made, it made my day. I'm not gonna lie, like, oh my God, I used to, and then there's a guy I dated who always paid for groceries for me. It was like, it's just like a thing that you wouldn't think would be that big of a deal. But like when you're really like just every penny counts, it's a big deal. And I don't know. I just wish I could do more of that kind of stuff. Like, but I don't, I mean, I try to help people when I can, but anyways, this kind of makes me think of that. I don't know why. Just because a lot of the stuff, like especially these, these nutty bars, these little Debbie's, these were such a childhood treat. That one my mom got them for me, like it was like a splurge because it wasn't something our family needed and no one else in my family liked these except for me. So my mom would get them for me and they made me really happy as a kid. I'm like getting emotional about this. Um, <laughs> You know, that was just really nice because like we couldn't always afford them and I don't know, these made me, they did make me really happy. Food made me really happy as a kid and um, my grandma would have these at her house and oh my gosh they're just mm. I still love the taste of them to this day they but they do remind me I had a pretty miserable childhood not really I wouldn't say it's because of anybody you know I feel like we're put in circumstances but my childhood wasn't always like super happy but food did make me happy And it still does to this day. But food was also my comfort when I was sad. So when I was happy, we would celebrate with food. When I was sad, I would eat with food. And it's almost like I didn't have control over my emotions or the food. A lot of people develop eating disorders so they have control of something. Like they're losing control of their life. But if they don't eat or whatever, they have control over something in their life and it feels like that. But I struggle with that. I feel like I don't have control over anything in my life and it's really a scary feeling. But Even eating these now, it brings me back. Mm. Mm. Another sad topic. Sorry, it's being sad. Mm. The parents were the best parents they could be. I think back, and I know they tried their best. <laughs> Um, and the parents are wonderful. And they gave me, you know, my dad and my mom, they just tried to raise me the best they could. And, you know, I just wish I had, like, more love as a child. Like, I don't know, you know, your parents say they love you, but <sighs> sometimes you just need to feel it a little more. You can get a hug once in a while. But anyways, at least it's peanut butter cups. I'm going to save that one for later. I love a chocolate peanut butter combo. It's so good to me. Mm. I like to put mine in the freezer. Mm, this one's kind of cracked though. You guys remember those commercials that are like, how do you eat a Reese's peanut butter cup? And some people would like eat around it and stuff on the ridges. I'm like, that's not how you eat a Reese's peanut butter cup. Who eats it like that? Nobody. Or someone else like ate only the middle or what? That's a good campaign though. I really like that commercial. We used to play the commercial game 
<laughs> when we get home from school, it'll just be like me and my brother. I'm my sister, but she's a lot younger than us. I'm gonna watch like Full House, California Dreams, like all the shows that come on after school. TRL. And then we didn't have DVRs or anything back then, so we'd play the commercial game. Every time commercials would come on, um, it was whoever could guess what the commercial was for in the first like second. Or, you know, mm, the whole middle just came out. That was so funny. Or in the first few seconds or whoever, whatever. <laughs> we got really good at it too. Like, we would guess it in like a second. It was a fun game. Now you can do VR commercials and stuff, so it probably would not be a fun game. Like, fast forward a bitch. Mm. But, anyways. That was my eating show. I am stuck. Mm. I'm going to have such a good sleep tonight. Behind the scenes is going to be on my second channel. I said that, but if you want to see like little dance snippets, that's probably actually up today. I probably posted it. I'm, I'm filming this on Monday. It's probably going to come on Tuesday. Just come a little sleep and then I got to edit. Because, eating shows I do have to edit sometimes because if I have a burp or something, I hate, oh, I hate when people burp. And I drink, I eat a lot and drink a lot of soda when I do these, so sometimes I have a little burpy. And I just, I can't. Especially if you're watching this while you're eating. But. Mm. By the way, thank you all for the cover songs and my warrior contest. I've been watching all of them. You guys are, I don't know how I'm going to pick one. I don't. Like, everyone is so freaking down. They're like, I don't even know. And there's like, no, not 10. There was 10 day contest. Like, maybe a week left of the contest. So, definitely enter that. But anyways. I am going to go tuck myself in bed. Let's be real, I'll probably be on social media for a minute. That I'll go. But I love you guys so much. Is this my first eating show 2017? Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. And I want to do more eating shows where I just totally get excited to eat again. And not feel like, oh, like people like them so I should do them. I just like to, I used to do them just like when I really crave something and I really wanted to eat with you guys. Um, this was one of those days where I was just craving all of this stuff. I mean, like, there's not really theme to it other than my favorite junk food. And I'm so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to thumbs up the video. And I'll see you in my next one. Here are my kisses, my little baby fishes. Mwah! <laughs> Bye, guys.